we decided to write the book, uh, Applied Architecture Patterns on the Microsoft Platform for Pack Publishing. We decided to write this because as I started the process and I looked at my previous job at Microsoft, which was taking customers and trying to help them be successful on BizTalk Server, and now since then I've left Microsoft and fill a general solution architecture role, it was a little more about taking business problems and evaluating the whole spectrum of technologies and seeing what's the right fit. Microsoft's well positioned to have this wide spectrum of application platform tools. Sometimes the trickiness is there seems to be overlap or it seems to be figuring out what is the right fit. So I approach you and Fairweather of Microsoft and we brainstorm this idea. See, how can we help people take these seemingly different tools that actually do complement each other well and choose the right technology for the problem at hand? This book is different because we really wanted to capture the experience that we have from working with customers every day. Most books actually take one technology and focus just on that individual technology and how the features and the functionality of that individual technology work. What we did is we took a broad cross-section of technologies and we, look at, we looked at 13 different patterns and how we could use the most appropriate technology from the Microsoft platform to solve that specific problem. For the past 10 years, I've been focused on working with BizTalk Server. And about three years ago, I went up to Seattle for the MVP Summit and saw a session on what is now App Fabric and .NET 4.0. And the first thing I did is walk out of that session and call my wife and you know, tell her I was going to be out of a job because the uh, new technologies that Microsoft was coming out with was going to replace BizTalk Server. But as I got to work with these new technologies more over the past few years, I found that it's definitely not a replacement for BizTalk, but they're designed to definitely complement what BizTalk has to offer. And those of us that have worked with BizTalk in the past, we're really in good position to be able to pick up these new technologies and learn how to uh, leverage them on our client engagements. And that's really why we've wrote this book, is to help us decide which technology is going to be right for specific scenarios. We chose to release this book while we were in Stockholm because, this, because most people know the BizTalk user group Sweden is probably the premier collection of talent in the BizTalk space. And given that, for the most part, three of, three of the five authors are very BizTalk-centric, we realized that this was a good test bed to see if the concepts we were going for would actually resonate with this crowd, which is taking a crowd very comfortable in the BizTalk space and gently prodding them and letting them know that there's a lot of other technologies they might want to add to this toolkit so that they're solving things using the right tool and not just solving everything with BizTalk or whatever technology they're comfortable with. Instead, much like us, are they going to grow as technologists and try to diversify their skills?